Hey everyone, this is Taz and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to unbox, review and cook in my new Instant Vortex Plus Air Fryer. So this is from the company that makes Instant Pot. This is a 6-in-1 air fryer. So let's unbox. Super excited to open this. Here is the sleek and compact Instant Vortex Plus Air Fryer. I am loving the design and this will fit perfectly on any countertop. This is a 6-in-1 air fryer that can do much more than just make crispy fries and chicken nuggets. So the 6-in-1 functions are air fry, broil, bake, roast, reheat and dehydrate. There are two key features in this air fryer. It has a clear cook window that will let us see what's cooking inside and it has an odor erase system that will eliminate the cooking smells from our kitchen. Sounds exciting, right? So let's see how it works and if it lives up to the hype. This is not that heavy. It's quite lightweight and it comes with a six quart basket. The basket has a non-stick coating so that makes it easy to clean. It also comes with a removable tray so we can keep this inside the basket and it will catch any excess oil or crumbs from the food. So we can keep this inside the basket like this. Let's see what's inside this envelope. Here's the manual in English and it also comes in French. And here is the safety and warranty booklet. This has a touch screen control panel with six preset buttons for different cooking modes like air fry, roast, bake, reheat, broil and dehydrate. And we can also adjust the temperature and time using the control dial on the control panel. And there's also a button for light. So when we click on that button, the light will turn on inside the basket. So here is the window so we can see what's cooking inside so this is super cool when we click on one of the cooking modes so i'm going to select air fry and we'll be able to see the cancel and start button on the control panel it also displays everything so if i select air fry it will display the temperature and a time so we can set the temperature from 180 degrees fahrenheit to 400 degrees fahrenheit I love the fact this is very compact, not at all bulky and the control panel is very simple and user friendly. Next let's take a look at the order erase system. So it's on the back side of the air fryer. This is a built in air filter that will remove the cooking smell from our kitchen. So it's easy to take it out. It's here. There is a filter inside this box, so while cooking, we have to keep this. If you're wondering how this works, so it works by sucking in the hot air from the air fryer and it will pass through the carbon filter, so the filter is inside the box, before releasing the air into the kitchen. It's pretty easy to keep it back, we just have to slide it in. Now let's see how this air fryer performs in action. So I'm going to use some of the preset cooking modes and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to use this air fryer. So let's get into cooking. This basket can fit up to 4 pounds of food. It's chicken wings time. So first I'm going to cook chicken wings in the bake cooking mode. So I have split chicken wings here. I'm going to follow my favorite chicken wings recipe. So for making the chicken wings super crispy, I coat the wings with a flour mix. To the bowl, I'm going to add like half cup all purpose flour, adding a teaspoon of paprika. So this is smoked paprika. So you can literally add any kind of seasonings or herbs, dried herbs of your choice. And then adding ground black pepper, freshly ground black pepper and some salt. Give everything a good mix. So this is ready. So next I'm going to coat the chicken wings with this flour mix. 
Add the chicken wings to the flour mix and spread it evenly. So let the flour coat all over the chicken wings and then place it on a baking sheet. Here are the chicken wings coated with the flour mix. So next I'm going to let this rest for an hour. So this is an important step so don't skip it. So let it rest. Let's get into cooking. So I'm going to bake chicken wings. So I have the seasoned chicken wings here and the basket. So I have washed the basket with dish soap and water. Take the basket out. Even the tray, I washed it with dish soap and water. So place the tray into the basket. Keep the chicken wings on the tray. Let's keep the basket into the air fryer. I'm going to bake this. So click on bake setting and I'm going to set the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So use the control dial 400 degrees Fahrenheit and time will be 30 minutes and click start. First it will preheat so you can keep the chicken wings after the preheating has completed. I didn't wait for that. So it will take a few minutes for the preheating to be done. And the display will show add food. So you can keep the chicken wings at this point. So the countdown only starts after preheating has completed. So now it has started to bake and uh, you can see it's now in cooking mode. I'm going to turn on the light so we can see what's going on inside. So I really like this feature, the clear cook window. Here is the filter system on the back side of the air fryer and here is the air vent. So while cooking, I find some steam or smoke coming out of the air vent. It's been 30 minutes, so the baking is done. So let's take the basket out. The chicken wings have turned super, super crispy. Whoa. Listen to the crackling sound. The handle is not hot, so we don't need any gloves or mittens. However, over here, it's really hot. So I'm going to transfer the chicken wings to a plate. Super crispy chicken wings that's baked in the instant Vortex Plus air fryer. I have the hot sauce here, so I'm going to pour the sauce over the hot chicken wings. So the moment of truth, I'm going to try the chicken wings. It's really hot and very crispy outside. And I love this hot sauce. Mm. Wow, perfect. Bake that 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Super crispy. So the outside is crispy and the inside is juicy. It's not dry at all. I love it. Mm, perfect. I also tried a few dishes in this air fryer. So I'm going to bake boneless chicken breast. So I seasoned the chicken with a few simple spices like paprika, ground allspice, ground black pepper and salt. So keeping it on the tray. I'm going to spray non-stick cooking spray. So this is olive oil. So I'm going to select the bake cooking mode in this air fryer. Select bake cooking mode and set the temperature to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and a time to 15 minutes. Then click start. So first it will preheat. It will take a few minutes. So after preheating has completed, the display will show add food. So that's when we have to keep the chicken into the basket. And then it will change to cooking mode. So baking is in progress right now. This air fryer is not too loud. So here is the level of sound this air fryer produces while cooking. After 15 minutes of baking, it will beep and it will show end on the control panel. So baking has completed. Take the basket out so the chicken has baked perfectly. Here is the heating element inside the air fryer. So this is just above the basket. 
I love how the chicken has turned out so it's a bit crispy and golden brown in color on outside and it's really juicy inside. I'm also going to make roasted broccoli so I have some broccoli florets added some chopped garlic lemon juice and olive oil so I'm gonna use the roast cooking mode on this one so click on roast so temperature 400 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm gonna set the time to 10 minutes similar to how I cook in my oven and clicking start so it will start to preheat so I already kept the broccoli in the air fryer I didn't wait for preheating to be done so technically we have to wait till preheating has completed and when it shows add food that's when we have to keep the food in the basket um, it's up to you guys if you want to wait till preheating is done you can do that or you can keep it while it's preheating so here's what I'm finding even while preheating broccoli is turning slightly brown. It took almost 6 minutes for preheating to be done and now it's showing at food and now it's in cooking mode roasting. While roasting broccoli I find a lot of steam or smoke coming out of the air vent. Look at this. So I believe it could be the moisture from the broccoli. I was looking through the clear cook window and I find the broccoli has already turned brown. It's only been two minutes roasting. So since I kept the broccoli while preheating, that could be the reason. So I'm going to take it out otherwise it will be overcooked and it will brown. So that's a good advantage of having the clear cook window. So the broccoli has roasted well. I'm going to transfer to a plate and I'm going to garnish with some Parmesan cheese. Here is my healthy lunch baked chicken and roasted parmesan broccoli. So I'm going to cut the chicken and show you guys how the inside looks like. The inside is slightly crispy and I love the golden brown color and the inside it hasn't turned too dry. It's still moist and I really love the taste of this chicken. Cleaning is quite a breeze. We can keep the basket and the tray in the dishwasher. Both are dishwasher safe. However, the basket is 6 quarts, so it will take up some space in the dishwasher. After cooking a few dishes in this air fryer, here is my honest review. So one of the features the company claims about this air fryer is its order erase system. So the built-in air filter is supposed to remove the cooking smell. So I tried air frying, baking and roasting. There was intense cooking smell even with the built-in filter. And I also found a lot of smoke or steam coming out of the vent on the back side. So clearly, the order erase system or the filter doesn't work properly. I have cooked in other air fryers like Ninja Foodie, Tefal Active Fry. So they don't have the built-in air filter or the order erase system. And I find they don't emit a lot of cooking smell. And also we need to replace the filter. So when it's time to replace the filter, it will display on the control panel to change the filter. So the filter is inside this box and we need to open the box like this so there are two filters so when it's time to replace the filter we need to buy this it's uh, from instanthome.com and i think it's around eight us dollars so that's another thing so we need to keep replacing the filter another key feature in this air fryer is the clear cook window and i really like that feature so we can turn on the light so we can see what's cooking inside so that way we can monitor the progress and avoid under cooking or overcooking the food so when i was roasting broccoli i set the time to i think 10 minutes but by three minutes I was able to see that uh, broccoli was already done and I could stop the cooking. So I really like that feature. The various cooking modes in this air fryer are really good. So when it comes to cooking, it does a really good job. So the chicken wings that I made in air fryer mode turned out really crispy and the chicken uh, I baked was really good. It was, uh, it didn't turn too dry. It was juicy inside and crispy outside and also the roasted broccoli was great as well so it does a great job when it comes to cooking so the order array system doesn't do its job for that reason I don't recommend this air fryer so now if you don't care about how the order array system performs or if you don't mind uh, cooking smell lingering in your kitchen you can totally go with this air fryer 
If you're interested in buying this air fryer, I'll add the Amazon link in the description below. Check that out. That's my honest review about Instant Vortex Plus air fryer. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more cooking and review videos. Until then, take care everyone and bye.